Am I the asshole? For telling my kids that if they don't go to my wedding I will not be attending Therese. I'll start at the beginning. My ex-husband was a good father but a terrible husband. I divorced him when my oldest was 14 and youngest was 10. Well he ended up spiraling and the kids were exposed to that. I was blamed for ruining dad. He got better after a few years but ending up doing it again when he learned I was dating. So the kids kept trying to get me not to date since it will affect their dad. It was an awful time since to the kids I was still responsible for what he did and reacted to things. In the end I just kept my dating on the low end which wasn't hard since it wasn't introducing the kids to the men anyways. All I had to change was not posting on social media. Also yes I sent the kids to therapy. They all stopped when they hit 18 or my middle child refused to talk so I pulled him. The oldest is now 25 and youngest is 21 and I got proposed too. I sat them down and told them, they were not happy and were pissed I was doing this to dad. Lots of talked later and I thought it was good. The wedding is in two weeks. I got a text from all the kids saying they will not be at my wedding, that they need to support dad during this time. I had enough and texted them that if they do not go to my wedding it will damage our relationship and I will not be attending their own weddings when they get married. They were pissed and it started an argument and all of them think I am huge jerk. I truly hate that I can't do anything that makes me happy since it will affect my ex. Sorry for errors on phone and not native speaker. Update I realized I am okay letting them go, I can't do it anymore. I sent a text it is up to them if they go or not. If they do go I have hope to fix this relationship if not I'm just done. I can't keep playing this game. It's for everything, anytime I have something good his feelings have to come first. I can't do that anymore it hurts too much. I could tell them everything he has done but I don't feel like blowing up their image of him. Update to someone private messaging me convinced me to lay it all out for them, so I did. Well I got my response, they called me a liar. Even with showing old screenshot that were in our divorce case. I think it is over. Thanks for everyone that tried to help. I known this was a no-win situation. I did fuck it and sent every single thing including this post. 11 years after the divorce, your kids are adults now and you're still not allowed to date to protect their father? Unless a lot of stuff is missing, that's a clear not the asshole. Your ex was successful in convincing your kids they made are responsible for his happiness which is an awful way to live. You deserve happiness so not the asshole. Info so you make it sound like you made it a point to never let your children know you were dating, then you sit them down and tell them you're engaged. Did they not know you were dating this one, and did they never meet them? Not the asshole. They may be your children but they are in fact not kids, they are all full grown adults, even though they aren't acting like it. Let them know the truth. They are adults. Their childhood image of him doesn't matter and he obviously doesn't hold the same respect for you in allowing them to be pissy on his behalf. Blow up their false image of him. Not the asshole. It sounds like your ex-husband has been attempting to turn your kids against you since the divorce. They are grown adults and should understand that you're not responsible for the feelings of another grown adult 11 years after you separated. Natar. Your husband's coping problem is not your problem. Your kids need to understand that. In what way was he a terrible husband? Not the asshole your kids need to move on. They are old enough to understand that a relationship is a two-way street and right now they are selfish AF. My ex-husband was a good father but a terrible husband. X200B. How does this work exactly? If he treats their mom like shit then he is a bad father as well. Not the asshole. Everyone saying YTA is delusional. Your ex manipulated them into not wanting you to be happy. They are adults that can think for themselves and are still choosing to make you the bad guy. Not the asshole do what makes you happy and the rest can sit and spin. Not the asshole. Your ex is trying to control you through the kids and dare letting him. 
Is there a cultural aspect to this stigma attached to divorce, or a woman remarrying? Not the asshole. It's really sad that your shitty ex-husband is still controlling your life so many years later through them. Your kids are adults now and you only live once so live. Info why are your kids so against you dating? What was the cause of the divorce? What do you hope to gain from giving your kids an ultimatum? Not the asshole. You divorced your ex 11 years ago. You are not responsible for his problems and you children are majorly brainwashed if they still think you need to stay single and suffer the way your ex is suffering instead of moving on with your life. Did you have sole custody? How often they saw their father? Why they are siding with their father and not you? Not the asshole. Not the asshole I don't know why these babies think it's a parent's job to cater to their kids every sad feeler for their entire lives, but, shocker kids, sometimes your feelings are dumb and you need to manage yourself. All your ex has to do is say to your kids that you have a right to move on. This would end the friction between you and your kids. You are not the asshole. Your ex and grown children are total assholes. Not the asshole. Info why have you never had a conversation with your kid about how their dad was? Like simply telling them you see how dad is hurting now? He was hurting me during the marriage. You've let this go for too long. These are adults expecting you to stay single forever after a failed relationship? I sure hope they're planning to marry and stay with the very first person they dated. It's unhinged that they think this is a reasonable ask. I have a buddy that can't get over his ex and started drinking more heavily when he found out she's getting married. They broke up four years ago. I told him straight to his face it's time to grow the fuck up and get over it, and move on. Not the asshole. Not the asshole something tells me that they are okay with this. Your kids are disturbingly controlling of you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This is awful. Not the asshole. You are not responsible for your ex husband's feelings, but neither are your children. Perhaps you could relay that to them. In reference to your update, it's time to tell them how shitty of a husband he was. They're old enough. Not the asshole. Have you tried discussing this with their dad? Ideally getting him to agree that they shouldn't have to choose between supporting both of you? Not the asshole and from your update that is genuinely really sad. I am sorry op. I couldn't imagine being an adult not letting my mother be happy bc of a divorce that happened 11 years ago. Wow this man is a master manipulator. I don't believe he was a good father either. A good father doesn't turn his children against their mother like this. You're not the asshole, but your ex is a giant one. Not the asshole your kids are being ridiculous. They're choosing to take sides, and have made it clear it isn't yours. Your ex doesn't sound like a good dad even a little. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your ex has manipulated and weaponized your children against you. It's sad they can't see that. You've done a lot more than I would have. You deserve to have a life beyond him.